How you doing guys? Quick video tonight. I'm going to be using some of the information that I shared with you in my first video about how to find shipwrecks, which if you want to refresh your memory, it's linked right here. Click on that link to watch that. And what we're doing first is we'll be visiting a site we uh, checked about seven years ago using the multi-beam sonar data that I discussed in that first video to find this wreck. And we've been trying to revisit it to put, I'll put a name on it. So we actually go down in this first, this first clip to try to take some measurements because what I did when I was researching uh, this shipwreck, I basically was focused in on the 1926 hurricane, Miami. And because that, that hurricane, that storm, sunk quite a few vessels in the Miami area, right there in Miami Harbor, and the subsequent year and uh, year and a half, uh, several of those were taken offshore and dumped, uh, such as the Esmeralda, which is a yacht uh, right off Miami that we found that was actually sunk in the harbor, but later taken out and scuttled. And so, my initially, when we first dove this wreck, this uh, we identified it as a dredge. It's very obvious in the in the pictures. You can see here the dredge arms uh, in this one image uh, we took in 2013. Uh, so we knew the type of vessel, so that was very helpful. So I wanted to go back and, and try to find out if there was a dredge loss in the 1926 hurricane. And actually there were four or five of them that were basically sunk in the harbor. But tracking each every one of those down, I found out they were all raised and put back in the service. Later on though, I found a 1928 mention of a dredge that sunk uh, offshore of Miami. It was being towed south. Uh, they said it sunk in deep water. The vessel in question was a dredge called the Massachusetts. And by using Lloyd's of London insurance records, we had the dimensions available. So we took a tape measure down the wreck and got the length and, and width measurements, which was no easy task given on this particular dive. We had about a two to two and a half knot current on the wreck. So trying to get a straight line measurement with that tape measure, which kept getting pushed by the current, was uh, quite difficult. Nevertheless, we have a, approximate measurements, which seem to be a tad big for the dredge Massachusetts. So I think we have to do a little more work on this site before we can do a positive confirmation on it. As I was researching these 1926 hurricane uh, vessel losses, I looked at the NOAA charts for the area during that time frame. And beginning in 1927, I saw a wreck icon right off Fisher Island, which was undeveloped at the time. And looking through the records, I noticed that a salvage company was hired to basically pull some of these vessels out. And they're also the same company that was in the process of doing the improvements to the harbor around that time frame and building the jetty uh, there off Government Cut. So I thought perhaps this was a vessel that was, you know, the hulk was raised and towed offshore uh, to where the jetties would be built to as reinforce that, uh, to put the material on top of it. So I followed that up by looking at Google Earth to see if anything appeared in the imagery. And lo and behold, several years there's what looks to be sections of hull that sand and unsand over time. So I figured maybe this is worth pursuing a little bit more. So we pulled into the shallow waters there off Fisher Island, just south of the jetty to investigate what we thought might be a shipwreck site. Unfortunately, it turned out to be nothing more than steel sheet pile for breakwater. On our way back to the dock, we were surprised to actually come across basically the most recent shipwreck off Miami. 
As you can see here, it turned out to be a sport fishing boat that had capsized and was being towed back to the dock. That's so Miami right there. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. We have more projects on tap that will get out to you in the very near future. Thanks a lot.